How's everybody doing out there? First of all, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal Itch Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. I'm going to show you what it means to have a real ambient light rejection screen. Now, as I said, you know, you got screens out there that are claiming to be black, and they're not really black screens. It's really like a light gray screen or a somewhat semi-dark screen, but it isn't true black. Now, with our technology, our screens are black. We have screens that produce, these black screens produce some of the best white levels on the market. Now, usually, like I said, if you're dealing with the black screen, you're going to have to deal with the fact that contrast levels are going to be high, white levels are going to be a tad low. With silver screens, white levels are going to be higher, and you're going to have black levels are going to be a little bit lower. But with this technology, it has the ability to be to produce amazing white levels. Now, this is my customized screen right here. It's a 143 inch screen. It has a white border. I think it's the only projection screen I've ever seen with a white border. And usually when you're dealing with home theater setups, you notice that uh, the area where that projector is going to be at or that theater screen is going to be at, it's always dark. You have some dark blues, whatever the color is, it's going to be dark because the problem you have with a projection screen and white walls or bright colors is the fact that white colors and bright colors uh, produce and generate more light. And that's why I thought it would be interesting to do the border in white. Now, what we're going to do first is we're going to come over here. I'm going to show you. First, let's do to show off the black and white levels on the screen. So I'll take the projector and take it off blank mode. Got some fish playing in the background. What I'm going to do is I'm going to change the lighting in here so I can generate more light. So we'll take the overhead lights and we'll bring them all the way up because we want it to be as bright as possible in here. Make sure I'm close enough to that remote control. All right, because we want it to be as bright as possible in here. So get that nice and bright. And then my lights behind my screen. I'm going to change those to white also. They're all the way up. All right, so let's come over here. Got plenty of light in the environment. It's nice and bright in here, as it should be. And we are going to do this demonstration first on some black and white. Now, my projector I'm using is a ViewSonic. It's a PX747 4K. The projector sits back around 14 feet and 8 inches from the screen. The last couple of demonstrations I were doing on customer screens the projector was a short throw. So just showing you screens that work on long throw, short throw. You can use this screen on 4K, you can use it on uh, 1080p, you can use it on 720p. Now you see the screen can produce contrast levels and white levels with no problem. So I'm going to switch over here, this video over here. And you see this screen has direct light hitting the screen. So we have condensed lighting right on top of the screen. So the light starts here, starts so hitting there and there. With the white levels on the woman's shirt. of a black screen it has incredible incredible white levels we can do all this with the lights on it shows you that we don't have to be subjected to a dark environment now we're going to throw some fish on 
and I want to show you something. Now, I'm going to show you how much condensed lighting hits the screen, right? That's the condensed lighting. As you can see, it makes contact with the screen. Look at the angle gain on the screen with the condensed light hitting it all the way down. Now I don't have the middle one on. People have asked me questions about the middle light. The middle light doesn't work. I have somebody who's been coming in to fix that, but that middle light doesn't work. I would like it too, but it doesn't. I'll show you again, there's the condensed lighting, making contact with the screen. The screen doesn't wash out, it doesn't fade. It looks absolutely beautiful. And I can come here and I can walk around my environment. I step back and go over here into the dining room how bright my living room is and I can hit my screen from any angle I want I do not have to be subjected to the dark and as I explained this many times before when you're watching demonstrations so show a little light in the environment but them lights will go off and the reason why them lights need to go off because that's when they show off the screen up close that's the high points of that screen that screen can only produce a good image unless you're in the dark that's something I don't have to worry about that's something our customers don't have to deal with all right, so I'm gonna come over here, open up my blinds right here. Got some light coming in right here. We're gonna step back over here. I'm going to open up my door. Once you see that I got a huge bay window here, or bay door here, not bay window. I'm gonna pull back our curtains here, all right? Put them behind the door. All right, so we got plenty of light coming in. Went back up, and if you notice, like I said, my door, when it's open, Light's going to come through, it's going to hit here, it's going to hit from the window. The place is going to be nice and bright. Show you from the angles in this environment. It can be anywhere I want in this environment. That screen's going to show up. There is the 4K projector right there. We got a stormy day going on out there today. It is stormy. Now, if I choose that I want to have lights up, I'm grabbing my remote control. Take our lights up and turn them over here to blue. There we go. Bring them down some. There we go. All right, and we'll change our lights. Here's the remote control at. So I'm reaching for my remote control. I throw them all over the place. All right, change that to blue. Okay, so now we got the lights in blue. Then we'll come over here, take out our, shut our door here. All right. So I got my door shut. Right there, close my curtains. Take my lights out. Still got the window open. I'm gonna shut the window also. Here we go. No difference. So that's one of the things, that's the best thing about our technology. I don't have to turn out the lights and go, look, look at the high points of the screen. Look how fantastic it looks. I don't have to do that. I can have my lights on if I want. And I can watch my screen at 14 feet, 8 inches from the screen with the lights on. All right, let's take a seat here. All right. I'm Kenneth Bird from Crystal Edge Technology Screens using nanotechnology gain. I'd like to thank you all for watching. We're doing this on the Luminous dedicated black 4K. This is our blackout cloth. It's available in 100 inch, 120 inch, and 150 inch. It's available now with free worldwide shipping. I'd like to thank you all for your time, and God bless.